Howdy ho there YouTube, this is Quinn, that's Nazi iPhone guy. This is just a quick unboxing of the uh, Triton AX Pros. This is a gaming headset I got from Best Buy for $169.99. It was about $181 with tax. Um, pretty, cool little, pretty cool little device. I'm going to see how this performs. Uh, some people ask why I didn't get the Turtle Beach on Twitter. I have something against Turtle Beach as a company. I just don't, I'm not fond of them. And granted, Mad Cats, who owns Triton, isn't much better at all, but... Um, I figured I'd give these a shot, you know, Best Buy 30-day return, so if I don't like them, I'll do that then. But uh, these have Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound. There's four drivers in each ear, a sub, uh, I think two mids, and a treble, which is wild. So they claim Dolby Digital 5.1 surround, and it's the only gaming headset uh, that's compatible with Xbox that's Dolby Digital Lo or ProLogic 2 certified. So that's cool. You have a 12-foot uh, cable, which is pretty beastly. Um, there's some other interesting facts in here but we don't we don't care so much about that there's eight speakers yeah i would assume front rear center and sub so it is like quote unquote surround sound so that's cool i uh, have a removable mic so let's just open these i don't really care about specs i'm just excited to get into them and uh we'll check these bad boys out so here gonna dump this out okay First, we have a little goodie box here. Open this up. We have the ear cups, which are obviously removable since they're right there. Um, hmm. Those look kind of weird. There's like a bracket deal. And then you have your microphone, which is, of course, flexible. And then you can actually move it around in the housing itself. So you could like get it completely in your face or completely out of the way. Cool. Set that off to the side. Uh, we have the gaming packet. Pretty beasty, actually. That's a lot of pages. Um, little manual warranty information. Good crap like that. Uh, there you go. Okay. And if they will pop off, I can't tell if they will yet. Oh, there's two more goodie. There's lots of goodie boxes. Okay, so we've got this one in here. We have uh, in here. We got our. It says like two. Wow. I don't know why you'd need two of them. I guess we'll figure that out in a minute. And then there's your wall charger. Uh, that is obviously international, so that probably comes in this box with a bunch of different outlet sizes depending on what country you live in. And I'm correct. And there's only one a, uh, American standard wall charger. Okay. Right here, we've got it was pretty intense packaging. Right here, we've got what appears to be the cable which uh, plugs into your Xbox controller, which presumably and most definitely is for chat. Okay, uh, so so for on Xbox Live and stuff like that, you have a. I guess that's for your four channels. For your ears, yeah, I guess that's for the bass, sub, whatever, front, back, center, and sub. And that plugs into this weird little port, okay. This is a USB cord. I don't know what that's for. Uh, and right here we have a, oh, that's an optical, that's a SPDIF port. That's cool. Uh, obviously that's not Xbox compatible, but if your computer has SPDIF out, um, which is optical out, you can use that. That's sweet, that's really nice, that's that's cool. It's all digital. Uh, so I guess this box right here is the uh, analog to digital converter, the DAC, that's all I can think of it to be. Um, it says Dolby Digital, there's lights on there, I guess telling you if it is in Dolby Surround, I guess. Uh, we've got two headphone ports on the bottom, uh, on the side, we have the analog output. Uh, oh, the mic is USB. -C. Yeah, this is weird. I'm going to have to read the manual. I don't even know. And there's your spdiff in. Okay, and then on here, we have the headphones themselves. Uh, they're pretty heavy. Wow, they feel really durable. That's good. Um, they don't feel cheap, that's for sure. I was worried they'd feel like cheap and crappy. They feel built. That's solid plastic, which is nice. Uh, they've got a head cover on top, tritten on the side, paint. Um, these allegedly light up when you're in the dark, so that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, here on the side, you've got your controller. This is cool because you can actually select 
uh, how much front, rear, center, and sub you want, and then you can adjust um, your voice noise, your voice volume, as well as the game volume and a couple other things. So that's that's handy. And then what is that? Xbox 360. Yeah, see, this is like a, there's a bunch of weird cables in here that I'm not sure what's for what and for what console. But this is 360 and PS3 compatible. I'll be getting to you. Uh, in probably a week or two with a final review on that snazzy iPhone guy, but we'll check it out. Uh, then, as for now, the uh, Triton AX Pros here on this iPhone guy, where you can find unboxings, and a lot of other crap TSIG won't carry. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later.